Hello and welcome to Stoke to Hear It. I'm Kian uh, and you're listening to Aop Duck Radio and I'm joined in the studio today by a local musician who goes by the name of Ben Smith. Hello there. I am indeed Ben, I think, I hope. What's you, happened to me? Am I a Terminator? <laughs> I'm here to kill you. <laughs> you. I mean, you also you also went by other names oh, yeah. when you were making music as well? I, I, I went through many aliases, but I realized they just don't work because I like making so much different music that I had to make an alias for every genre I did, so that would be about eight aliases. So I was like, I'm not doing that, I'm just Ben now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's easier. You kind of just combine everything under the under the Ben Smith banner. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, if I, so if I produce a synthwave album, then a metal album, then a goddamn avant-garde, brutal, in ambient album, you're like, it's just Ben doing his thing again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're like you're ridiculously prolific for 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 someone who's just a, a solo independent artist, just doing your own thing, mm-hmm. uh, like. Uh, I don't want to call you an amateur, but like you are. Oh, like, I'm, doing... pre- I'm pretty amateur. Yeah, like, like you like, like seriously. You I'm... aren't a professional musician no. by any means. But... I, I stopped singing lessons a long, long while ago, and I'm sad I can't get back into them. But I, I'm still doing. I, I feel like I don't do enough vocal warm up, so my voice is probably going to hate me at some point. But I, I'll still sing if I want to. I'm not a, like a professional singer, but I'll just sing because I can process it. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, yeah, but you're for. You know, you've got more work out there compared to even, like, professional bands, professional musicians that I've seen. Mm. Uh, They've got maybe one, two albums. I've had people on the show that have, like, one album and a couple singles and stuff. Uh, But you, you've got... How many albums at this point? Uh, I'm releasing my my Nightwave album, I call it, on the 13th, which is like eight songs of just like music you're supposed to listen to at like 2am looking out the window at a city skyline kind of thing. Really kind of like soothing, but also very chill stuff. Um, I've got, I had an EP, I think it was an EP, a cat, but Spotify cat had it as an album, um, called Kia Light, which was after I left uh, Kiel University. Um, that was basically all the things I did for my degree. Um, I've done a lot of more lesser things in the past, but they were more of like me learning properly how to make music before I could say, okay, you know what? Now I'm at a good point where I can say I'm actually decent at what I do. So I'm, I'm working on a lot of stuff all the time. And I think my current album is, my next album is at like 66% done. It's just a lot of the time I need to outsource to people who are like professional mixing and mastering. Okay. Like they help me. I don't, I do, I do do all, I do do a good chunk of mixing and mastering as much as I can, but I'm not trained professionally as well in that degree, well, that area. So I do outsource quite a bit yeah. to who I can, and that's how I get my quality. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, um, if you haven't heard any music by Ben Smith yet, then I'm going to open up the show with uh, Objects of Obsession, which yeah, I think boy. is your latest release, am I right? Uh, on Spotify, yeah. I've been, yeah, on I've Spotify. been releasing some of the singles from my Nightwave album on, on YouTube because I've already uploaded the Nightwave album onto Spotify, and it's just... I don't have to upload it again, then tell Spotify, okay, now take that and put it in the album again. But it's just confusing. Um, so, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, so this is Object of Obsession by... Uh, Object of Obsession yes. by Ben Smith. <laughs> that was No, I Didn't Say the Keyboard Needed Flattery by fucking Werewolf Asso. Just an average everyday band. Sounds pretty... Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, th- I think they couldn't have gone for a more normal name. For for the song or for the band, mm. uh, I mean, it suits the vibe of the music, I guess. Like if you if you're making weird ass music, you might as well be weird ass, like in the name as well. And yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> says Ben Smith. <laughs> Oi, like <laughs> I I can't. Hmm. Ah oh, no, I thought about it, but at this point, I'm not changing my names again. I've I've, I've edited too many like page names and tell yeah. people, yeah, I'm changed now to do it again because then people I get on people's nerves, so I'm done with that. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. I mean, because I mean, as we already said, it's it's uh, it's a lot easier if you just go. This is me. This is what I make, mm. rather than having but to make loads and loads of names. I will say, I've had um, an idea on my mind for um, a comedy duo band inspired like likes and ninja sex party stuff with my um, friend who I was on a course with a long while back, um, because we came up with this really dumb idea for a band that involved pigeons and and stuff, and we thought it was a funny idea. And at some point, I'd like to get back onto that, but. We'll see what he's doing sometime. <laughs> that's the that's the thing with the with kind of just when you graduate, like you have all these plans and things, and you just need to try and work to to actually get them to happen. When you 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 can't get too caught up in the in the real world of 
grown ups. And exactly, crap. man. Pe- people are busy. Follow- People are busy, so you yeah. need to work around their schedules and see if your schedules line up. And if they don't, see you next week. Oh, no. Nope. And it's just, yeah, it's all that. Yeah. That's why I like to allow myself. That's why I was like, I don't want to be in a band. I want to be me. Because yeah. then everything I work on is what I want to do. Therefore, I don't have to align by anyone else's schedule. So what do you do? So, yeah. yeah. It's, that's the great thing about being a solo artist. You don't have to, you don't have to mm. try and wrangle three other people into yeah. getting things to happen. You just, mm. you just do it. The only person you have to wrangle is yourself. Yeah, true. But even that can be a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of bed. You need to finish producing the new the new track. <laughs> well, uh, it, take, it takes like weeks to produce a track sometimes. I just... I can be hour on a day and that's about it sometimes. But eh, it's, if, I'm, if I'm producing for five hours straight, I'm, I'm hopefully enjoying it a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's only so much... So many times you can listen to the same track over and over and over again before and you like start it. to go insane. So, mm-hmm. so spacing it out, would it, it helps quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to throw on another track. Uh, this one is one of your picks. It was... It's Stick Stickly by Attack Attack. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so um, I like... Everyone always calls this band cringe because it's like, you know, like 2007 scene metalcore days, auto-tuned to hell, but also aggressive as hell. It's like, I, I, I love this song unironically and people are like, why? It's ir- like it ironically. It's like, no, it's a really good song. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I just love this song and it's inspired one track that is still not properly named um, from the next album. It, its code name is Scene because it's literally inspired by this. I don't have a name for it yet because it's not entirely done. So there's going to be a song inspired by this at some point along down the line. Looking forward to hearing that when that, mm, when that got, comes out. The bass drop is already all planned. It's, it's very housey. <laughs> I, love, I, I love this sort of thing. Um, electro-punk whatever it is. Ele- electro-punk metalcore scene... Auto tune, cringe, etc. Et Mid two genres, genre, genres suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stick stickly, attack, attack. That song was Niger's Day Off by Pippin. If you haven't heard of Pippin, they are a local punk band, and you should check out more of their work on Spotify. I, I feel like I have like um, Whiplash now. <laughs> that was a heavy one. <laughs> yeah. Just, just I thought I'd throw the two heavy, heaviest songs. Just like right out there early mm. on it's it's gonna get progressively more chill from, from yeah, yeah, here yeah. on out <laughs> that being said the next song is armageddon by blue starly which oh, is still pretty heavy blue starly um i've got so the entire label he's on fixed music and then his friend Saldwell is like so was probably one of my favorite like musicians ever and that's where i got the whole like different aliases for different genres thing um because he has like five or six aliases and he somehow manages that manages that but that's because he has a company so yeah I kind of, yeah, I kind of got the wrong inspiration from that. But they're all really amazing. I love them. And I think Brett, as Blue Starley, has just released a, a new album, I think. And he's got two more on the way. Because he's doing, like, this three-pronged attack kind of thing with three different albums. Huh. And it was pretty cool. It was, like, more instrumental-based. But he does a lot of good stuff for, like, um, film and TV. So, very fitting. Mm. Yeah, I, but, I like Blue Starley's stuff. Uh, um, it blew my mind when I first found out that it was just one dude. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, doing everything. He um got he the way he got into the label because he did a remix of Seldweller's Own Little World for the first album, and he was like too young to enter the contest. But when Clayton Seldweller saw the remix and heard it, he was like, even though this guy is like a bit too young for the contest, he's he's so good. I want him to be on the remix um CD or whatever. So eventually he got into more contact, and then he became an actual artist on the label. So. What a baller! <laughs> yeah, love him. That that that's just uh, that just must be an amazing thing also to have that happen to you at mm. a young age and just sort of have your talent recognized yeah. like that. Yeah, he, he's been a bit too quiet the last thing. I just I want more music from him. I'm just like wondering if he's doing stuff, but I guess he was, and I'm happy to see him back back again with a new new album. But the devil, this album, oh, that's so good, so good. I love this. Yeah, my favorite album by him by far. Yeah, Armageddon, Blue Starly. We had some technical difficulties there, but I think the stream should be back. So welcome yeah. back, anyone who uh, got kicked off the stream and managed to make it back on. Um, and uh, yeah, welcome hopefully back. everything's <laughs> fine now because the stream looks like it's back up and running. Mm-hmm. Um, the next song I'm going to play uh, is the newest release by a local band called Rocky Ostrich. This is one of their singles called Waste Me Away. 
That was Waste Me Away by Rocky Ostrich. If you don't know Rocky Ostrich, they are a local band, and you should check out more of their stuff. Yeah, sounded good. And Decent. speaking of local artists, Hello. I'm joined in the studio by Ben Smith, if you've only just tuned in. Mm-hmm. Uh, who does uh, things, does a lot of things, a lot of things that are very, very wide and varied. Just not R and B, just not R and B. Not R and B, but <laughs> not R&B. <laughs> Almost everything else. <laughs> almost everything else. <laughs> uh, mainly electronic, but but has backgrounds in rock and metal and all that stuff as well. Yeah, especially yeah. Uh, a lot of you listeners probably have met Ben in person mm. if you're a, if you're a Keylight. Um, yeah, true. Yeah, which was the name of that first EP I, I released, which oh, had yeah. all that all the stuff I did for my degree on. That was a fun one. That was good. <laughs> Keylight is a that is a fun album. I like mm. that one. Um, if you like what we're playing today, uh, you should check out the other great shows we have on Up Duck Radio as well. For example, Stoke the Fire. Your Pope. Your uh, hour-long punk show on a Wednesday evening, 7 till 8. There's also Pilgrim's Pit Radio, 6 till 8 on a Friday. Um, Rock Renaissance with Dave Chambers, that's 8 till 10 on Saturdays. But honestly, it doesn't matter when you tune in with AOP Doc Radio because we're streaming 24-7 now, so you can tune in whenever you like and there should be something great to listen to. Mm-hmm. Uh, and speaking of great things to listen to... That's a segue for you. <laughs> uh, the next track is Rescue Me by Marshmallow and A Day to Remember. Mm-hmm. That song was Cry Little Sister versus, versus Hello Zep from The Saw. So it's Saw and I forget which... Is it Lost Boys? I think it's The Lost Boys Yeah, Cry Little Sister, yeah. I've not seen that film, not but it's horror, so I'd enjoy it. Yeah, um, it's a, a fun vampire movie. Yeah, exactly. I, I put that there because it's, it's October. It's like... It's perfect. This is for the season. You know, I love I love October and Halloween season. Yeah. I just, I just I absorb all the things that are evil that are like, you know, horror film and horror game and stuff. I love it all. Same. I um I'm gonna do a Halloween special on the last Sunday of. Well, no, I guess it would be the first Sunday of November, but it would be the Sunday immediately after Halloween. Um, I'm gonna do a, a spooky special. You call it um. Would it be... You could call it October 32nd. <laughs> It'll, it, yeah, it is basically October 32nd. Because um, I've got a bunch of spooky songs which uh, I've, I've been sitting on for years that mm. I want to just mash into one big playlist for, for the Halloween yeah, season. Good. But I might, I might release it at, like, a day ahead so people can listen to it on Halloween and then, and then do the show the That's following idea. day. That's an idea, yeah. Um, not 100% on it yet, but I, I have so many fun Halloween songs that I just want to play. So um, I guess keep keep your ears open for that mm-hmm. when that comes out in the end of the month, yeah, man. Uh, beginning of next month. Um, right, so the next one is Mixed Signals by Rez and Blank. Yeah, this was a song that inspired Objects of Obsession. In fact, enti- all the entirety of Rez's discography inspired my... Oh, that, but that inspired that song because uh, she is um the, the music she it's like hypnotic like drug induced like just ag- aggression so it's like <laughs> it's hard to explain because her entire persona it, on stage when she's doing her DJ stuff she has goggles which are like they have the, the hypnosis kind of things so if you're looking Ooh. at her and she's all she dances like really like I don't know how to explain it it's like a trippy skeleton dance it's, it's oh no I love her she's great she's absolutely great uh, I'll have to I'll have to watch some of the live stuff because I've I've listened to Rez a couple mm. times and really um, good yeah I love it so I love the trippy skeleton dance <laughs> concept yeah. I need to I she, need she's to, really fun love her I need to watch that uh, yeah this is this song's called Mixed Signals that song was Venger by Perturbator featuring Greater Link nice. Um, this is one of your ones. This is, is uh, by the Midnight. This is Dance oh, yes. with Somebody. This um this whole album. Uh, I don't remember when it, it came out quite recently, but it's oh uh, it's like it's like think when you listen to the album, you feel like you're in the eighties and you're going through like like becoming a, like a young adult. Like it's just it just feels like you're in one of those films, and it's just the most um beautiful kind of chill like synthwave retrowave experience you can get. And oh, I love what they they're one of my favorite artists. And they just, every song they do, melodically, structurally, sound it, superb, superb. 
absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I, I didn't know about them until uh, until you sent me the, the your choices, and, and, and now you love them. So. And now I love them. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, in case in, in case you guys didn't know, uh, what I do with the music when I have guests on is that half of the music is picked by well, over half of the music is picked by the guest, and then the other, I'd say third, is uh, picked by me to kind of get everything to blend together and make sure that I feature local artists as much as possible and stuff. Uh, if you are a local artist and you want to get in touch with me so you can be on the show or have your music played, then check on my Instagram. That's uh, stoked to hear it. And you can also drop me an email. That's uh, stoked to hear it at gmail.com. Uh, Cause I am stoked to hear your work. Uh, pun 100% intended there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, going to go right in with Dance With Somebody by The Midnight. That was Favourite Lover, Dead Astronauts theme it by might, Dead Astronauts. It might, it might as well, yeah, Dead Astronauts by Dead Astronauts, there we go. Pretty That's much. Need to know. Every other vocal was just not as important as just saying Dead Astronauts, Dead Astronauts, Dead Astronauts. I mean, you've really got to drive head. the point home. You need mm. to write a song where it's just like, just... You just sing Ben Smith over and over. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just make it like a single bass line, like a jumpy bass line on C, and just, yeah. it just keeps going for six minutes. That's what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> six minutes of a jumpy bass line. Ben Smith. Ben Smith. Ben Smith. Oh, now I'm cringing. I'm cringing. Don't say my name that much. <laughs> oh. uh, and speaking of Ben Smith. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, this is What We Do at Night. And it's one of your... Oh, yeah. This is um, the first one I released for my um, my Nightwave album. Um, just before it was going to turn into an album, I just wanted to release this because it was just a nice tune. And this is basically the theme for that whole album. Um, the album is called Solace, and there is a song called Solace on it, which should be out... Wait, is it, is it 11th today? Yeah, it should be out now on YouTube, I just realised. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, so that Solace is out on YouTube. Um, it sh- it'll be, they'll all be out on Spotify on the 13th, so in two days. Um, but yeah, what we do at night... Um, very, very. It, it sounds muffled because I completely cut out the top frequencies for the entire, all the tracks on the album to give it an interesting feel. Um, so it's more bassy than like really bright. Um, very slow, very melodic. I really like the melody on this one. It's probably my favorite, and it's just a really good tune to listen to when you're at night and alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, definitely looking forward to the Spotify release. So you said that's on the thirteenth. You get yes. the Spotify release. Mm-hmm. Sweet. So. Uh, Keep your keep your Spotify. Well, do you have like a like a pre-save link or anything like uh, that? I, I can share I do. After the show? It should. Um, it was on my spot on my um Instagram, but because I have to change that link every time when I'm advertising something, it's it's now that's a link to the, the radio station right now. But I later on I can probably change that to the pre-save. Um, but you can just find me. I know it's hard, it seems like most of like most common name Ben Smith ever, but if you look me up on Spotify, there's like the top eight. I'm going to be in it. I've got like um, a glitchy kind of thing over my eyes. And if you type in Ben Smith, what we do at night, you'll find me. Yeah, uh, nice on Instagram, you can find Ben at, uh, at Ben Smith Music Official. Mm-hmm. Uh, and on Facebook, it took me forever to change it to um, Ben Smith Official, um, was it official page, official artist. I don't remember because they don't like brackets in Facebook, which is so annoying. So I was like, how do I change this? But, yeah, mm, but this yeah. is uh, what we do at night, and you can find the album uh, on YouTube currently. So uh, that that will be out on the thirteenth as well. But you can find Solace and another one out on YouTube right now. I don't pay much attention, but right. it'll okay. be all be out on Spotify on the thirteenth. That's what you need to know. Yeah, and check it out when it does. That was Midnight Cruising by OGK Atlas, um, who isn't a local artist by any means. He's based down in London, but he's a uh, uh, old friend of mine, so I thought I'd play a bit of his music because it's great. <laughs> yeah, it sounded good. Pretty good. Um, now, next one is a, another... Well, the, the next one's a local artist that I've played on the show before. This is Babylon is Fallen by 10 O'Clock Chemical. That song was Breeze Bay by Hello Meteor. Which was a direct inspiration for... Uh, what uh, I forgot the name of my song now. Uh, what We Do At Night, which was the song played, played previously, uh, which is on my album coming out on the 13th. So, yes. It is called Solace, by the way. <laughs> Check that al- album out when it comes out on Spotify mm-hmm. on the mm-hmm. 13th. Yeah, boy. Um, and while you're listening to A Up Duck Radio, we're getting to the last sort of quarter of the, of the show. 
So after my show ends, uh, check out Poems, Potteries and Jazz. Um, that's running from five till six, but tune in whenever because we're broadcasting 24-7 now on aup.radio.co.uk. So uh, you can check out all of the other great shows on our network. Uh, now, the next track is um, it's a bit more of a well-known artist compared to what I normally have on the show, but you, you specifically wanted this one. Uh, this is A Thousand Bad Times by Post Malone. This, um, I think this, oh, this song, okay, so I don't like a lot of um, what Post does. Um, that's a terrible start, way of I don't like the hip-hop stuff as much, um, except Rockstar, I love Rockstar, the song. But when it came to Circles, and this song specific, specifically, I just fell in love with it. I, I think I was going through a time where this song kind of hit me hard, because it, it's about, um, you know, a relationship has gone to crap, really. And it, but the, the whole idea of the song is that he's, you've been through it all. One more bad time isn't going to do anything for you. Whether that's depressing or hopeful, you can be the judge. But I just love this song, and it's very fitting with my um, my vibe right now. I just I'm just listening back to it in circles, and I love it. I do love it. Yeah, um, a thousand bad times by Post Malone. Hope you enjoy it. The song you just heard was Frem- uh, Frenemy by Dala Jade, and if you haven't heard of Dala Jade, then um, where what have you been doing in, in in the in the local music scene? That's that's a mean thing to say. Yeah, uh, that's in the current situation. <laughs> yeah, uh, but Dala Jade is is uh, a great local musician that's that's been doing some pretty amazing stuff. I hear she she had a, a, a sellout gig at uh, the Underground the other day. Mm. So uh, congratulations to D- Dala Jade. I think I'm I'm expecting. Uh, uh, I'm I'm wouldn't be surprised if she ends up on BBC One or something yeah, sounds, sometime soon. Sounds perfect material for that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm. Uh, gonna jump right into another track because uh, we're pushed for time a little bit. Uh, this is Threads by Ricky Mears. The song you just heard was "The Pressure's On" by Enter Shikari, and the next song we're gonna play is another song by Ben Smith called "Halfway Down." You wanted to talk about that one? Yeah. Um, it was inspired by the show Bojack Horseman, which you can find on Netflix. And free advertisement for the show because it is one of the greatest shows I've ever watched. And the last three seasons have about, I think it's 99% on like Rotten Tomatoes. And overall, reviews are great. And um, it's it covers a lot of subjects like mental health, um, someone who's old and is like, you know, druggies. It, it's all these bad things that happen in life. Think of Hollywood. Think of Hollywood, the yeah. dark side underbelly. Because a lot of the, the show takes place in Hollywood. And there's a lot of dark subject matter, including like child abuse and stuff. And... It goes through that for the main character called Bojack, and who's an anthropomorphic horseman. So <laughs> his name is Bojack Horseman. So, and the I wrote that song because I was inspired by the second last episode, which I won't go into detail, but it covers how if you said so one of the characters um, kill, kills themselves basically by jumping off its Golden Gate Bridge, and after death, this is Fred. It's a it's a weird scenario. You have to watch it. But after he's dead, he says how. He was proud of his choice until he gets halfway down. And at that point, he's like, I want to live again, but it's too late. And it's it's very, very hardcore, very brutal. And I I want to turn that into a song about the character of Bojack. So that's basically my love letter to the show. That's that. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty sad song. Um because of the sub- subject matter, but uh, it's, re- it's also a really beautiful song, so uh, I'm hoping everybody enjoys that. And then I'm just going to follow that immediately after with uh, Bojack's theme. Um, Very fitting. Because that's just... Uh, <laughs> it's surprisingly, it's, uh, it's a bit more cheerful. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, yeah. Uh, for such a dark show, it's got a very cheerful theme, so we'll mm-hmm. just use... Use that, bring the mood back up again afterwards. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm hoping you all enjoy this, because uh, I certainly do. That was the full version of the BoJack Horseman theme uh, by Patrick Carney and Ralph Carney. Are they brothers? I would assume so. Yeah, I would say, um, yeah. Probably. No idea. No, nah, I have no clue. Um, yeah, we got onto a pretty... Because the song Halfway Down, it's a pretty heavy song. Um, so uh, I think it's just worth putting out there that if you uh, are struggling with your mental health, just talk to someone. It, we are in Mental Health Week, I think, uh, or at the end of Mental Health Week. Oh, is it actually? Moment. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so if you are struggling with mental health and uh, having dark thoughts like that, just reach out to someone. Um, there's people you can call, like Samaritans and stuff, to talk to people. And just uh, 
just talk about it. Yeah, you're not alone. Uh, if you're not alone, don't bottle it up. Uh, talk to someone. Because um, uh, there's always someone willing to listen and help you with mm-hmm. your with your problems. Exactly. Um, and we're getting to... Um, do you do you want to play the one of the the last one that you picked, or should I just close with uh, "Behind the Moon"? It's up to you. You're the you're the guest. Oh, I've played enough. You can go to your song. I feel like that one I added wasn't um not too relevant to what I'm doing now anyway. So oh, that's yeah. fair. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm gonna close out with uh, uh, "Belua Monster" by Behind the Moon UK, uh, UK, who I've played on the show before. They are uh, cool local. Um, trip hop synth um, duo that's doing a lot of interesting dark stuff and yeah this will be the last song of the show I appreciate that everyone who has tuned in and stuck with us the entire time and uh, yeah check out the other great shows on on aupduckradio.co.uk you were listening to Stoke to Hear It Uh, if you're a local musician and you want your music played uh, check out uh, hit drop me a message on my Instagram, stoked to hear it, or uh, drop me an email that's stoked to hear it at gmail.com. And Ben, you've got a new album coming out. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, my album, um, Solace, will be out on the 13th of October. Um, if you want to find me, because I know my name is so common, uh, type in Ben Smith, uh, what we do at night uh, on Spotify, and you'll find my song, or type in Ben Smith halfway down. Um, Trying to remember whatever music I've made, but those are the two main ones anyway, and you can find me there. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, if you if you like the music on this show, then you can uh, find it as always on the playlists that I, I release after the show. So um, just keep your eyes peeled on my Instagram, and you'll be able to get that link for um, for the playlist for this week. And I'm still working on trying to get everything on Mixcloud, but I will make sure that everybody. Uh, gets notified of that when the mix cloud is up, so you can hear our beautiful voices um, <laughs> on on record. Right, this is Balua Monster. Thank you, everyone, for listening.